Okay, so if anybody's interested, this is the uh, BV outhouse. And um, I fly my drone this morning and take some pictures of the woodland and it crashed. I think I've got the crash on video. I will put that in there now. Okay, so at this point, <laughs> It decided, I think, and it's, I think it's there, it said you have 10 seconds before battery runs out. And I was like, well, well, you can't do this to me. No, 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 no. Flips around, does a 360 degree turn, climbs to the highest point, which I did not do. I did not take it up this high. I just took it and took it level with the small trees because we just wanted to look at a patch of land, which we couldn't get to because there were so much brambles. So it takes over these two dead trees. Now, these are 40 foot high plus at least then it's like all right no 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 stop that i did not lift from from here and then next minute now where this is an old path and like it's coming down i'm like no 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 so i try to get my joystick to come across to the right to miss this branch and boom no chance straight down my daughter's there trying to catch it i went no don't catch because the blades are quite sharp aren't they that's a hand so she's holding it upside down. Dad, it's all right. It's all right. I think it's still working. Nothing broken. Nothing broken. Which is fine. And then I sort of scrambled back quick as I could. She said, it's knocked off something off the tree. I don't know what it was. So we're still upside down here, feeling a bit sick. And then I shall just grab it off for now. And flip her up the right way. And it seems to be fine. I've reached it. This is then, I'll show you what I've done next with uh, my anchor charger. And that's the general idea. Uh, but in the meantime, I oh, think everything's right. But oh, I ran out of battery job. and it says you have 10 seconds to land your craft. And I was like, what? So it actually came, it took to its full height. I don't know why, because I didn't do that. Usually it should follow its own path. So it took the full height. Where are we? Oh, here we are, behind me. This tree here. <laughs> she went right, right up to the top. Came down. Okay, hit this branch here, hit there, dropped, totally stopped because we ran out of power. It just did it within 10 seconds and then it landed, boom, 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 but not on the table, just on the floor. So lucky. So I've just pulled out my little companion, which is my anchor. 21 watt. You can see that. Can you see that? Focus. 21 watt solar panel, three panels. I've had this about five years. Some like that. Sure, yeah, it must have done. Built these on it once, but it seems to still work all right. And it's now charging up both. Well, the hand one's charged. So there we go, that's charged. And I'm on the first battery and it's almost fully charged. And then we've got two more batteries to go. So that's impressive. So I'm going to unplug this now, and I will now probably charge my phone up. Let's see what happens. I decided not to charge my phone up. I'm going to charge my battery pack. Right there, one-handed. Pop him in there. Here he is. Yep. And then pop this lead. So unplug that one. Then we're looking at that one. Let's see what happens. We should have. And if you can see them in this light. Yeah. That's it. It's charging. There you go. Okay. So anchor. Thanks, mate. <laughs> You're a good one. And there we go. Well, cracking bit of kit. All right. And yeah, uh, we're gonna might stay in the BV again tonight. Stayed in last night, but my batteries had died, so I didn't film it. So I'll do it tonight.